Um, thank you very much. Hi everyone, thank you very much for joining us um, during this wellness day that we have came together, me and my team, to really provide you with absolutely every information and knowledge and experience that we have to share with you our enthusiasm and our love and passion for essential oils. We really hope that you're going to get so much um, knowledge and so much information for you to take on and to really use it for your own use. And so welcome. And I'm going to, my name is Farah by the way, Farah Miri, and I am a wellness advocate and a leader with uh, doTERRA International. And today I'm going to give you um, a little bit of information on how to use essential oils during your cooking and I'm hoping that my Wi-Fi will stay and love me and stay calm and um, protect me and you can see the whole the whole um, demo that we're going to, I'm going to do for you today. So excuse the mess as well, excuse the, the background, but hey, who cares? I'm going to show you how to make quinoa in three ways. The way I love quinoa because it's gluten-free, it's got lots of fibers, it really helps our digestion and it's so nice to replace it with the rice, replace it with any carbohydrate. So this is amazing, easy way to use quinoa three ways. So we're going to do breakfast, we're going to do lunch and we're going to do a dessert. And I'm going to show you how to use it with essential oils as well. So welcome and let's start. So this is quinoa and I'm sure you have probably seen it before and you have looked into it. Now the health industry now is all over the place trying to really provide um, customers with lots of alternatives. So this is um, quinoa mix. So it has the, the red quinoa and the white quinoa. And it's very, very um, versatile, but also you can use it, you know, you can really make a lot of, of it. And you can um, leave it for the fridge for four or five days and you can use it so much for your um, for your cooking and preparation. You don't have to do it all the time. I usually prepare my stuff on Sundays or Fridays. I'll just do a batch and then I leave it for the whole week and have, you know, change my, my desire of essential oils. So this is a cup, maybe a cup of um, quinoa, and then you, you get all this, this big bowl here. So one cup of quinoa can make you this big batch here. And the way you cook it is very simple. You just do one part of quinoa with two parts of uh, water, or uh, almond milk, or uh, bone broth, or um, any, any um, liquid you can, you can uh, use it for, because quinoa really can pick up all the flavors in the cooking so it's really nice and versatile and I haven't done anything to it just water because I want to use it in three ways so I can be have it salty or I can have it savory or I can have it uh, sweet so let's start before my Wi-Fi let me down I'm gonna show you what to do with your breakfast so this is just a, a batch of quinoa I'm gonna use this little small bowl here and I haven't had breakfast so this <laughs> would be handy after the, the video so I'm just gonna Put a little bit here on the on the bottom, like a, a bed of quinoa. I love the word quinoa. You can use it for your breakfast. So just a tiny bit like this. Depends how much how hungry you are. Like that. And I'm gonna add a little bit of. I'm gonna put it here. I hope you can see. I'm gonna add a little bit of actually a dash of almond milk. Just a tiny bit. Just to wet it a little bit. like that so have it like porridge or have it like you know any um, cereal in the morning and you don't really need the sugary cereal this is really nice and healthy and you don't you can control the sugar intake in there so a little bit of um, um, strawberries forgot the name of the strawberries strawberries just on top of that so maybe on the corner there strawberries on the corner banana Banana on the corner, second corner. There you go. So my banana. And then I'm gonna add some seeds. So I'm gonna add chia seed, which are very, very healthy for you as well. And I'm sure you know all about chia seeds. And some pumpkin seeds as well. In the corner there. My breakfast is ready. That's it. But now I'm gonna add essential oils. Actually, I should have added the essential oils before the fruit, but don't worry about that. We can do that. So what all I'm going to do is add a little bit of clove, but clove is overpowering and it can be too much. So a toothpick is enough and you can use your oils for such a long way. So I'm going to try and put them underneath. As I said, I should have done that before, but that's my 
lighter. So I've got the clove in here and I'm going to add a tiny bit of cassia as well. And again, cassia is very overpowering, so it can be too much. You just use a toothpick and you add whatever you can. You add the flavors and as you know, you, you cook in, you can see how powerful they are and how um, overpowering in terms of the taste. I'm gonna talk a little bit of the benefit of cooking with essential oils. Um, obviously, we, we can use doTERRA oils in three ways. We can use them aromatically, we can use them uh, topically, but we can also ingest some of them. And you have to read the label carefully because it says um, essential oil supplement. If it says supplement, that means you can take it internally. And we're not talking about drinking the whole bottle. You have to be very safe and careful to have you using essential oils internally. So you, a toothpick, as I showed you here, that some of spicy oils like cassia, cinnamon, clove, oregano, they're very, very spicy. Or you can just put a drop in a big batch, for example, of olive oil I will show you later on. And you can use that for, for your uh, cooking. The reason we can use that for our cooking is because sometimes, sometimes internal use is much more effective than a topical or an aromatic use. It's a common sense thing. If you have, for example, a problem with digestion, taking in, uh, like Digest Zen or taking cilantro or coriander, or any oil that can help you with your digestion internally would make sense for your immune system, for your digestive system to recover quickly. Um, clove, for example, and why I'm using it here, is really good for liver support, for immune boost, for circulation hypertension, uh, for tooth pain, as we know, and thyroid issues. So there are many, many, many health benefits of essential oils when you use them um, internally or in any other way. But um, what I mean is like when you use them, you have the health benefit as well with them. And for cassia, for example, you can have um, the pancreas support, uh, the blood sugar, the oral health. All this information that I'm getting and that I know of are coming from this book, which is an amazing book called the Essential Life. There are many other books, but this is the one that I have used for a long time. And I get all my answers, all my questions answered when I want anything to know about essential oils, especially for cooking, because this is what uh, you know I really enjoy the most is cooking with essential oils. And you can find absolutely every single information about any oil you want, anything about detoxification, about thyroid problem, hormones, emotions, kids, pets, men, absolutely everything. And this is our Bible that we really love to go back to and, and get educated. So that's really the whole point is for you to really get that knowledge and to get that resource in, in your, on your fingertips and just use them for your uh, own um, on own information. So that's my breakfast done and I'm gonna attack this at the end of this video. <laughs> and if you want to prepare it in advance on a Sunday evening for your morning, you can. You can do three or four of these in the morning um, preparation and you can eat them for the breakfast. So now we're gonna move to lunch and I'm gonna make a quick salad. So first of all I'm gonna show you that you know the way because again I'm gonna eat it later on. <laughs> Um, use it just like in a glass uh, bowl and I'm gonna add anything I have so I have tomatoes I'm gonna add the tomatoes I'm gonna add the cucumber anything you have in your fridge really especially at this time of year now it's really nice time to do salads and just something refreshing quick and easy and again this is easy to prepare for the whole week a little bit of um, spring onion and again, I've, I've got prepared, I've got everything prepared. And um, I forgot what it's called, sweet corn, a bit of salad, that's it. And whatever you have really, a tiny, tiny demo for you. So you have your salad here, and then what you can do is add straight to the vinaigrette here. So you've got a little bit, I've got a little bit of um, olive oil. I've got a little bit of the, um, vinegar, uh, the um, apple cider vinegar, and a tiny bit of Himalayan salt. And now I can add my essential oils. So we can kind of make this vinaigrette straight in there. So yummy, yummy. Oh no, please stay where you are. Okay, now I'm gonna add a, a really amazing combo. Um, I have cilantro, 
which is like coriander, but it's not coriander. It's very different from coriander. I, I'm more um, um, aware of coriander, so I've always used coriander until I experienced cilantro, and then now I know the difference between the two. Cilantro is more of what I know more of, of the coriander, so the smell and the taste is amazing. And I've got lemongrass and petit grain. Petit grain. Uh, petit grain is a new oil that just arrived in Europe. Um, it has been uh, for a while in, in the US and now we've got it in Europe and I'm very excited because the, the minute I smelt it, I fell in love with it. It's beautiful, beautiful. So what I'm going to do is just put one drop of petit grain, petit grain, one drop of that, one drop of cilantro. Oh, oh my God. I go back to my childhood when I smell all these spices, all these herbs. Yes, I get very excited about cooking and I love cooking. I love food, I love, and exciting about using essential oils in your cooking. It's um, never heard of because you don't cook with any other essential oils, only doTERRA oils. Yes, it's amazing, Veronica, really, really nice. So that's it, you've got your vinaigrette, you've got your oils in here, you've got your salt, you've got um, your lovely salad that you can munch and then it's ready for you. Fantastic, that's it, you've done that. But what I wanna show you is something very, very practical that you can take, I know a lot of people, I, I'm lucky to work from home, but I know a lot of people do work all the time and they have to leave home, they have to prepare. So I've got a really nice trick for you. A nice little jar like this so you can layer all your salad in here and we're gonna do that very quickly so let's start with um, you know what I forgot the quinoa for this <laughs> for the lunch <laughs> of course you can add the quinoa here straight in your salad I'm thinking where, what, what's the quinoa doing then that's it that's your salad and your quinoa done now it's really done fantastic so Let's go back to the jar. So here, we're going to start with a bed of um, quinoa. Let me get rid of everything. So I look professional in the kitchen. You can tell I am not very professional. <laughs> so my bed of quinoa first. Here. You can see. Then I'm going to add my carrot, my tomato. Maybe I can add a little bit of quinoa. You can play with it and design it. You can do it with your kiddo if you have kids. My um, uh, cucumber, a little bit of the spring roll and a little bit of um, the uh, sweet corn. So basically, you know the, the, the point. You just layer whatever you have in your kitchen and then you can maybe add a little bit of at the end and now so we have a nice salad ready to go but we need a vinaigrette okay if you to put the vinaigrette in here you can if you are having your 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 lunch very quickly in the, within two hours is fine but if you're having it prepared for the next day and you want to take it with you for a long ride I've got a really nice trick I've got one of these and I'm sure you have seen these everywhere you can get them absolutely everywhere it's like a little glass container I put one here straight on there so you've got it sitting really nicely there. And this is a wide uh, mouth, they call it wide mouth jars. And this is, the make is ball. So you, I'm sure you have heard and seen it. You can find them in uh, Lakeland. So I've got my little glass here, uh, um, container. I could easily put first the vinaigrette and then put it in there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make the vinaigrette straight on here. You can see. So I'm gonna put a little bit of the apple cider vinegar, then a little bit of olive oil. You know, it's up to you how you want it and how tangy you want it. I like it nice and tangy. And then a tiny bit or a dash or a tiny pinch of Himalayan salt. And here I'm gonna add my essential oil. So I'm gonna put one drop of cilantro. And believe me, when once you start using essential oils in your cooking, obviously I don't overheat my oils. I always add my oils at the end of the cooking. So they are still nice and um, intact. The, the molecules and all the, the compounds of the essential oils stay 
come intact and they don't get heated. So I've got my each um, drop, lemongrass, cilantro and um, petit grain. You just, you know, mix it a little bit like this. This is your vinaigrette ready. This is a very basic vinaigrette. There are so many different um, recipes for vinaigrette and I will post them at the end of this. So here we go, we have our jar with full of lovely goodness with quinoa and all our raw vegetables. I'm gonna add this on top, which is our vinaigrette uh, for on the go. And I'm gonna put the lid, so it comes with like a lid like this, you know, like the, the gem jars to preserve the goodness. And then you just have it with you. I've tried it and it worked earlier. <laughs> Maybe it's too much in here. <laughs> Don't do this to me, not live. Yeah, I think it's a bit too much in here. But I promise you it works. <laughs> nothing nothing like, like, um, like um, life. Here we go. So we've got it. We've got our vinaigrette in here and we've got our salad on the go that you can take with you anywhere and you've got it make sure that you've got it upside you know um, on 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 standing like this not upside down otherwise maybe it will leak but make sure you you know you, you don't let this uh, kind of on the go and unhealthy living get to you you can do this very quickly very very easily prepared on the go your jar your vinaigrette and quinoa with it and you've got your essential oils with you on the go so brilliant now, so we've done breakfast, we've done lunch, and now we're gonna do dessert. And again, dessert is very, very easy to make. All I have is my raspberries, and I got my little container for my, um, for my <coughs> excuse me, for my dessert. So I'm gonna add my quinoa again. And by the, by the way, once you kind of start to eat quinoa, you'll probably be sick of it. <laughs> But I love it so much. I always, always have that much in my fridge because every time, please stay where you are. Every time I have a bit of a, you know, a sweet tooth or a bit of a, kind of just wanted to snack on something, I snack on quinoa. And you can, you know, there's so many, many recipes on quinoa. Everywhere you go, you can find really healthy quinoa recipes. But I always add my twists with essential oils, which is why, you know, we love sharing our, our tips. So. Here you go, a little bed of quinoa. I'm gonna add my raspberries as my dessert. No, I'm not gonna do that because this time I'm gonna do the essential oils. <laughs> here we go. So we've got my bed. What I'm gonna add here is just wild orange. Wild orange is so, so nice, beautiful. It's so refreshing, energizing oil. It really helps with uplifting your mood, just give you a bit of boost if you're low. It will really help you with restful sleep as well. So it's nice to have a nice dessert with quinoa with a little bit of um, wild orange in it and some raspberry on top. You can mix it, of course. This is very quick demo. It's a bit messy, it doesn't matter. There you go, so that's my dessert done. Done, okay? That's it, you've got three ways doing quinoa, but the most important really is how to use essential oils while, while you're cooking. I cook the, is with essential oils in my soups. I love putting just a drop of uh, oregano or thyme or mushroom or ras ra ra rosemary in my soup. I cook with all my desserts, all my chocolate dessert, my lemon dessert, I put a drop of lemon in that. So, so many, so many information you can use um, here it can help you a lot with that but also if you want more information come and ask me or ask any of my my team to help you with you know more information about how to cook with essential oils and i do a lot of workshop locally if you are local to me come and see me and we can always do cooking workshop with essential oils and we can learn how to marinate meat how to do a barbecue especially for the summer how to make cocktails with essential oils really the the list is endless and you can really enjoy the benefit of essential oils that's the the main point as well it's not just about you know smelling them or just to say oh yeah it, it tastes nice it really has the health benefit while you are taking essential oils in general i hope you have enjoyed this video thank you so much and we are very thrilled to have you with us in, in at this event 
and please reach out to us and to the person who invited you to this uh, event or to me and I'll be very happy to give you more information about how to cook with essential oils. I will see you later on for um, the Immortel and also for some DIY projects. Um, I do a lot of workshop with DIYs and how to really get rid of all the toxins in your house and how to replace everything with very easy um, essential oil projects that you can make your own. Have a great day everybody and I'll see you later on. I'm so glad my Wi-Fi protected me and stayed with me. Thank you everybody, bye.